Hey YouTube and Knife fans, so tonight I thought I'd do something a little different, it's the uh, last day of the year of course, um, so New Year's Eve, and um, yeah I thought I'd take a look at this, uh, the differences, so the knife on the right is the Greg Wall uh, version of the LSS1, and the one on the left is my replica of the screen used knife from Commando, again an LSS1, um, so there are some differences, although the profile is fairly close, and um, yeah we'll talk about those differences, so what I wanted to do in the creation of my replica was to create the screen used knife not a generic or post-85 life support system one. Um, LSS one, that's what it stands for, life support system one. So my adventure started with a deep conversation with a friend and we agreed that after looking at all of the images of life support system one knives around from around the world, that they were different slightly from the knife used on screen in the movie Commando and we both agreed that the knife in Commando was the one if we could have one that's the one we wanted and so began the journey um, I think I'm not sure if I've explained it in other movie, uh, videos that I've done oops sorry about the camera um, Essentially, it started with a screen grab, and I then traced that image, importing it into a 3D drawing program, created um, SDL files for, in this case, water jet cutting. Normally, I would um, freehand them, so basically draw it on the steel, on the billet, and cut it out with a grinder, but for this one, I just wanted those teeth precise and and the choil too. I mean the radiuses, I've got reasonably good at making um, radiuses, but man, I can't get that level of precision from hand. And the teeth, um, it's a near impossibility for the teeth because the grinding wheel that I have been using, it kind of cuts square. It doesn't cut... A radius in the bottom unless it's worn out and flogged out and therefore it doesn't actually cut evenly um, so the only way I was going to get even radiuses and even teeth depth and and even just the um, the bevels on top all the same was to go um, CNC route and so I went water jet now the reason I went water jet and not laser cut is because my steel billets arrived heat treated there's a hardness rating called HRC and a number, and mine are HRC 59. I've had them tested. Um, still remember the first time I tried to drill this stuff. Smacked a uh, drill, like marked out a, a part where I wanted to drill, hit it with a center punch, bang, nothing. And I looked at the center punch and it didn't have a point. It was completely flat. So that's hard, man, when it's harder than the tool steel of a center punch. But that gives you an idea. So um, in this case, water jet is essentially high pressure water with a abrasive in the water. So I think I might have mentioned that in another video where it's like you think of like erosion in a, in a stream or a riverbank, um, except it's down onto one tenth of a millimeter scale. So it's very precise and... Um, now this is 6.5 mil thick steel and it's cut through it without a problem. So um, once the water jet templates were done, the blanks were done, uh, and then it was on to, normally again I would um, I'd do all my handles and do all the guard work myself. Um, I was using aluminium for the guards on the earlier knives simply because it was just easier to work. I've gone stainless steel because um, at the end of the day, 
you know, the the cost of cutting one part versus ten parts, it gets progress it just gets cheaper and cheaper the more you do. So it just makes sense to have part one, part two cut out at the same time, as opposed to um, sending off for a single part. I'll give an example. I had a quote or a guard once, sixty six dollars for one. You know, I get ten made up. They work out five dollars each. So it's a so I get you know same price cheaper actually to have ten done than it is to have one. Go figure that one. Um, so yeah, basically we got nine inch blade. Um, I went true nine inch, uh, which is two hundred and twenty eight point six millimeters, I think, by two inch, which is fifty point eight mil. The wall knife appears to be a little bit longer. Um, it may even be like nine and a half inch and it's under two mil when I measure it was 48 mil wide he's gone thick it's um almost seven and a half mil or 7.6 mil mine 6.5 his guard is like eight mil thick mine's a six mil guard what I would like to do in the future is actually have a slightly bigger billet and have the guard cut from the same material that the blade is cut from that way it's already heat treated and hardened and um that'd be friggin awesome handles on both the stainless steel tubing he shredded his on a lathe um i didn't have that i'd had access to a lathe but i didn't bother with that i've just done a solid handle it's filled with tooling resin um my cap is machined aluminium his is brass he kind of needs, on the wall knife, he needs um, a little bit of weight in the back end because it's a hollow handle. Um, I do find that it's a bit unbalanced, a bit blade heavy, where mine is balanced. So, oh, knees are getting old. Um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, he's done a pretty cool finish on his blade i don't know i don't think it's powder uh it's a it's, it's a like a paint it's not because it does scratch off you can see at the top there it is scraping off from just from insertion of the sheath um i was kind of looking at getting these bead blasted mine bead blasted i just didn't get around to it so i ended up doing the laser etch instead um which you can't see here, I'll see if I can zoom it. Anyway, we've already seen that in a previous video. Might need a bit more light. No, still can't see it. Anyway, so I've got the life support system one and the crane logo on mine um, much to the annoyance of some fans um, and to a degree look look I mean uh, this is a replica of the movie knife and the movie knife had the decals life support system one and a crane logo um, that's the only reason I've put it on I'm not trying to say this is a crane knife by any any means um but you know it's a replica of the screen used knife it's got to have a bit like um when i was doing those nike mags and not having a swoosh you know or the word nike mag on the back it's just um it just doesn't work so that's why they're on there um i do want to add my own maker's mark to the other side or maybe on the guard um we'll look at see what the new year brings for that because I had to rush out the um, laser etch on this one to get it done before Christmas. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, we're coming up on 10 minutes of this video. I might uh, wrap it up there for now. Um, yeah, probably one of the biggest things that I noticed was the size of the choil uh, on the movie knife. It was small where all of uh, Crane's other knives had quite a larger choil. Um, and I just really like that, that, that part in the movie where he you know, says, and you turn it, and, he, and you just see that, the way the teeth 
uh, got the bevel and then the choil and it just makes that knife look mean super mean uh, and that's what I wanted so uh, that's the reason for why I've done this uh, it's not to rip off crane or or anything else I simply wanted a replica of the movie knife so I'm going to wrap it up there for now happy new year everyone for um, and may 2023 be better than 22 and I'll catch you in the next video Thanks for watching.